folks, and welcome. We are Tabletop Gaming Guild Show, and we are all about the experiences and memories that board games with friends and family can create. Uh, tonight, we're going to be playing Letters from Whitechapel, a cool little hidden movement game. Um, and uh, Nathan, uh, why don't you give us the high-level overview here? Well, speaking of making friends and families, I'm going to be killing people, and you guys are getting trying to catch me. So, so like Nathan will not wholesome... be making friends tonight. <laughs> Sounds the, like good, wholesome fun to me. <laughs> but the other three of us, we are going to be bonded for life as we catch this criminal. It's a little murder between friends. <laughs> <laughs> Said every D and D table ever. So this is letters from Whitechapel. This is um, Jack the Ripper themed. So basically, it's a hidden movement game where I am going around. I have to kill a victim, and then I have to move around this map secretly while you guys are trying to hunt me down. So the key thing about my movements, I can only move on the white circles with the numbers on them. So I can only move the distance of one from one white circle to the next one that's along the dotted black lines. So the tricky thing is sometimes that can be quite a long ways. Like I could technically go from 129 to 159. So over here. But sometimes it's a little short way. So I, like if I'm in this area, the, it's very tight. And But it's easy to like kind of go around little loops and I can retrace my steps. I can do whatever tricky things I want to do. Meanwhile, you guys are going to be acting as all six detectives. And you are going to be moving along these black squares. And on your turn, you can move. And uh, you can move, and then you can search. So you have actually, on the search, you have two options. You can search for evidence or just try to make an arrest. If you're searching for evidence, let's say you're on, uh, let's take one of these guys. Let's say you're on this black square here. So one number at a time, you can list off 125, 155. Technically you could do 141, uh, 123. And at any point I can stop you said, I was there at some point. I don't have to tell you if I am currently there. I just have to tell you I was there at one point. Oh, sorry. I, you had this dot covered. So technically, you cannot see 155 and 141. Um, so that's the other key thing is these dots, these black dots are squares. There's too much foot traffic in those areas. You cannot see past them easily. So they block your visibility. So you can only see numbers that do not have the black squares between you and that number. So that is search for clues. So again, you list numbers one at a time. And as soon as I say I was once there, you cannot search any more ter that turn with that character. Your other option is make an arrest, in which case you can only list one number so you can just try to make a rest at 125 if i'm currently there you've won the game i've lost and that's the core of the game it's just i'm moving around secretly and you guys are just trying to trap me in another key element of my movement is while i'm moving on these numbers i cannot normally move through a police detective so if I'm on 125 and you're currently sitting on this square, I could not move to 123. Uh, except for I have two different special actions I can take. I have this alley token and this coach back, uh, coach token. A coach token will allow me to take two moves as one action. And I can actually move through a policeman with a coach. And the lantern will actually allow me to travel through an alley. So for example, I could go from number 85 to 100 with an alley token. 
I have a limited number of those each night. Uh, and each night I get fewer of those. Uh, how do I end a night? A night ends if either I'm captured and you win the game or I get to my designated hideout, which I have to write down a number to be my hideout that I have to get to every night before I start the game, which I will do that right now. Where do I want to start? And I got in my little secret area, a little board that I am going to track where everywhere I've been. You don't get to see this, folks. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Nathan, could you put a little ping marker where your hideout is so the viewers know at home? Oh, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do also have a little board cheat sheet beside me to easily look up numbers rather than having to look at the map, which in this simulator doesn't matter too much. But in the real game, it's really important not to have to stare at a location on the map and give away where, where you're looking. Okay, so I'm gonna pick my first, my, my hideout for the entire game, the place I have to keep escaping to. And this is my first difficult decision. It's a very important decision. Uh, you should pick some location like that's like off in like La La Land that's not very accessible at all. Don't, definitely don't pick a central location with a lot of traffic. <laughs> well, central <laughs> locations can be pretty dangerous because every night is going to be the same location. You're going to be narrowing down where my hideout could be. It's true. It's true. Oh, that is... Just, uh, should I try that? That's pretty dangerous. I can, All the red dots on the board are potential crime scenes. They're the actual real crime scenes. Um... And those are the only place my hideout cannot be. Because I'm not going to commit a crime right in front of my house. It just wouldn't be smart. So the viewers will see me select a location. Hopefully this sound is not too annoying. Um, I was taking a look at this table earlier there, Nathan, and your, your entire hidden area is filled with like counters. So like if you click on the triple zeros, you can actually just type a number into the oh. cell box just okay. to help speed you along. So at least for, that's how most counters on tabletop simulator work. Yeah, that's true. I could try. Uh, so for the sake of the viewers, they can now see the number I have chosen. My no one else can. I'm I'm going to I'm going to predict that it's somewhere here. <laughs> <laughs> Good guess. I like it. <laughs> so very plausible. We will go through this real quick. There is a little cheat sheet beside each player that goes through this, but I am gonna select to start. The first night, which automatically gives me my tokens that I need, as well as you guys are, should have your tokens. You can see I have three coach tokens and two alley tokens. That's, those, are, those are over here. Um, the next thing I have to do is I am going to secretly put out where my victims may be. Okay. Uh, so there's going to be five potential victims, but I am putting out eight markers. So three of these are fake. They're bluffs. And they all have to go at potential crime scenes. Uh, where's the last crime scene? All the way over here. Over here. Go okay. Ahead. So that's the first step. I have decided where my potential victims are secretly. Uh -huh. 
the next step is well, let me grab this other book real quick sorry get the full breakdown so i'm not missing anything okay so the next step identify yep 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 um one of you guys is going to take all these patrol tokens. So all these black tokens. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can see two of them are blank. And the other six have patrol men colors on there. So one of them, one of you guys will put it, take it in your secret area, secretly decide which ones you want to be where. And you have to put them on these yellow spots. And obviously, two of them are going to be bluffs. The rest are going to determine where all the patrolmen are. I'm just curious. Uh, the other people that are on my team, can you see the patrol tokens now that I put them in my secret area or not? No. Oh, okay, dokie. But that, I trust you. <laughs> you trust me? Oh, yeah, man. Because we're, if we're we lose, then I can just blame you oh, later. Oh, I see. I see. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, Nathan the spots that I'm moving these two are the yellow squares. Yes. Yep. The yellow squares. Okay. Dokey. So those will also be face down all showing the black sides. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Now, normally in the game, you would actually be shuffling this deck of player colors to determine who's in charge each turn. Uh, but a couple of those actually clipped through the table right before I started. So uh, we're not going to be using those. Okay. <laughs> I'll just let you guys decide who's in charge each round. That's, that was an off camera. Oh no, that happened. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess one, there's two more. Yeah, one way up there's here. There's one there and there's one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there. Oh, well. I'll pretend I did not see that. Uh huh. <laughs> see what? See what? I All don't right. know. I didn't see anything. Okay. Okay. So the next step would be to turn. I need to place my victims. Okay. So I'm just going to hit this button and it should place all my victims. Okay. There should be five victims. Yep, yes. I see. I see five pawns. Five. Yep. Five wretched pawns. Yes. yes. Okay, so I've revealed the other three were fakes. So I'm really all, my murder is definitely going to be on this one side of the board. Oh wow! Okay. Okay. okay, so the next step is I can choose to either kill or wait. So if you see, I'm over, I have a little pawn over here that's going to determine when I'm starting. If I wait, I would move this way. So it would give me more time to escape. This tracks how much time I have before I, I uh, have to get to my hideout. If I run out of time here, I've lost. So I will wait. And when I wait, the police suspicion grows. So actually, I'm supposed to move this apparently, but it's the same effect. Um, so you guys get to move each wretched pawn one space. Uh, to the circles, correct? Yes, they have to stay on circles. Okay. All right. Um... They can't end their t movement next uh, on or next to uh, a policeman. I, okay, that's fine. Yeah, or police token. All right, you, you guys want to jump in here and maybe move one? Just uh, you know, move it towards the center-ish, <laughs> like over here. Uh, well, the center with the map would be there-ish, right? Oh. Try to coagulate them, right? Coagulate them. <laughs> uh, you got one more. You can still move. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, there's fine, right? 
Okay. Okay. So I also now get to flip one of your patrol tokens. I'm going to flip this one. Okay, okay. So I now know the red person is there. It's now back to me to choose whether I want to commit a crime or wait another night. Uh, I will wait another night. Oh, you get oh to boy. do the same thing again. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to move this one this way. Uh, this one this way. Oh, wait, that would oh, be adjacent. Yeah, that, I was going to say. Uh, I think uh, as long as there's a, a square. Yeah, but that, them, that box okay. isn't blocking. That box isn't blocking that patrol token. That would be adjacent to it. If I'm moving into this alley, it would be fine. Okay, we'll see. It's a little bit unclear on that, but yeah. Uh, this one can be moved. Uh, that would be nice. I moved. Too. I moved that one already. I moved it already. Oh, sorry. Okay. I was mute. I was muted. Okay. Is is there one that we haven't moved? This one. Anybody move that one? I did not move that. I one. did not. Okay. Uh, we'll move it here. So one of this one thing about this game is once it really starts going, I'm probably going to be pretty quiet. But you guys are going to be talking a lot, and I'm just going to be trying not to uh, have an opinion on what you're saying. Okay. Are you going to have your so, opinion so, about anything we say? So when okay, so just for somebody who's not fully understanding what's happening yet, we're moving each of these wretched pawns. Why? Uh, you you might want to be trying to move them like so they're closer to real patrolmen or. Uh, Further away from where you think my hideout might be. Okay, so that probably would have helped then if we knew which of them were real patrolmen, because we also did not see where Dan put the real patrolmen. Okay. True, true. That's uh, <laughs> okay. It's okay. I'll give this, this opportunity to other people in the future. <laughs> so I get to flip one of these. Okay. Flip that one. Oh, that one's a fake. Guess where I am now going to kill. Not there. So, Not that there. Oh, nope, he did. And there okay. you go. All okay. right. Oh, it's there, right? Uh, let's yeah. See if... There's the there's the crime scene token. There we go. Re... Oh, yeah. So while the, that goes there. So now, every time I make an action, take an action, take a move, I'm going to be moving down this track. I have to get to my hideout before it gets to the uh, 15. By waiting, I've given myself more time. Uh, let's place the investigators. Okay. <laughs> I, I, nice. I made a nice star so, pattern. Yeah. So that's, I don't know. So I'm just, again, having never played this before. So that whole part right there was really still just, just an elaborate setup. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. All right. And now we're getting into the main core of the game, the escape. So I will go first and move. And I just want to, so I can move. Oh, well, I have to start at this crime scene where I just killed. So that's a uh, one. So we know where he is right now, folks. This is important. Okay. <laughs> is anybody here taking notes? <laughs> I mean, other, Nathan other is. than Nathan, other than Nathan, I have a pen and note paper. Well, that doesn't do any good. It will probably be terrible. Okay, fantastic. I blame Dan and his leadership for our failure. Oh, I will Seconded. accept this blame. <laughs> As well, you should. So he's starting at 138. He can only move between numbered circles. One at a time. Unless one at he's a time. using a special token, which he does have to announce. Right. Okay, he's Nathan, are you done moving? He's just trying to get back to his hideout before he gets to 15. Uh, I will let you know when I'm done. I'll just make sure I did this legally. Let me check my map. So...
Oops, no, I typed in the wrong number. Well, Nathan, Dan's played this before, so just tell him where you're moving to, and he'll tell you if it's a legal move. Yes, uh, I agree. <laughs> okay, so I did my move, so I'm moving this pawn forward, so that okay. indicates that I did not do any special movements. If I had done a special movement, I'd be putting it on this track. Okay. So I've moved one space, one number away from this kill. Okay. All right. Um, how do we want to do player turn order? That's a really good question. We've got, we have what, two extra pawns out here than we do actually have. Yeah. Regardless people. of how many, regardless of how many players are in the game, we still have access to five investigators. Okay. Right. Uh, and also, so your turn consists of moving zero one to two spaces with each pawn then each pawn can either search for clues or in rest if you're searching for clues you're listing off potential crimes uh potential show locations one at a time till i stop you do it slowly so i can uh check my uh sheet <laughs> yeah it, it becomes more difficult the later yeah sure. as Dan, do you want to go ahead and take the first action then? Again, being that you've played before. Okay. Um, so why don't we start over here with like yellow and then head towards Pete as sounds like a rotation. Good. Okay. Yep. That sounds All like right. a plan. All right. So move one or two spaces, then potentially search. And we're moving on the 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 black. Technically, squares, you can move zero squares. spaces as well. Oh okay. yeah. Well, we're not doing that. No. <laughs> We got to close in on on closer to where you're at right now. Yeah, that's um, a big thing is you want to form like a cordon because like normally I cannot move through you. Okay, so yellow is just going to move two spaces in this general direction. Um, I am green. I am nowhere near you, uh, so I'm just going to move two spaces in your general direction. Um, I'll do the same thing with brown. Yeah. Just head down the main thoroughfare there, I guess. All right, and then Pete, you're uh, you're the one who can actually do something interesting, I think. Well, uh, what about blue? Evan's going to move blue as well. Yeah, I'm going to go right along the top here. Okay. All right. Um, so with red, get him, Pete. If I if I move if I move two, I can only go one, two. Yeah. But if I, okay, yes. Yeah. So if I only went one, then I could only guess one eighteen because it has to be there has to be no black squares in between the dot the circles, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. But if so, after I make one two, then I can make a guess, or I or I start naming the numbers that are. Yeah, you can you can search. Yeah, those two. That's what right. you can search. Well, well, and you're the only one that I, I think it has a valid search. This yeah, this 139 is the only valid search, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, obviously, I'll say 150. Nope. And I'll say 139. Nope. I have never been either of those places. Okay. All right. Not surprising, but that's good to know. Okay. So, has everybody done their movement? Yes. Okay, so next I need to move again. So from my current location, I need to decide a new location to go to. Hmm. I got to be careful because it's a little harder in this than the uh, physical game to keep track of the physical board as well as my little cheat sheet because I need to know where you guys are and that's not on my cheat sheet. I'm going to do something. I like doing stupid things in this game. Yay! We also like you to do stupid things in this game. So for the sake of the viewers, this is where I'm going. Which... Yep, so I am just moving one space. Okay. 
So then as the investigators, we know that on the previous turn, he was either at 164, 163, 137, 114, 113, 135, he or 136, or 148. Going, he's somewhere back here, basically. <laughs> was, there's uh, 170. There's so many options of places he could have gone. Yeah, that's a tricky yeah. thing. This map does have a lot of little dog legs, a lot of little. Oh, man. Yeah, there's so he many. Know. He's somewhere back there. Basically, somewhere back still. there. Yeah. Uh, but like, yeah. And as we close in, the possibilities are going to expand, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I guess if he was making a break for the center of the board, then I would think he would have maybe gone towards the edges. So at this point, maybe on 56 or 175. All right. Uh, he said he's he's moved. So yeah, we're gonna correct. start moving. Let's yep. start moving again. Uh, so this this guy's just going to close in some more. Um it's going to move Brown forward again. Yeah, Pete brought up something that I hadn't considered yet, which is he might try to scoop, scooch around the edge of the map. Uh, so I'm going to move blue down here. Okay. I'm sorry, that just technically you. Um, uh, yeah, it was technically uh, Evan. That was oh, technically that was, you, Evan. Yeah. Is that fine? That's fine. <laughs> okay. Why don't you... Why don't you move? Uh, why don't you move me in, in trade off? <laughs> we'll move you this way. Okay. Thanks. All right. So I'm trying to see if there's somewhere that I can go, that I can make a guess. If I go forward to, then I'm close to 164, and I can say 164 um if i were to i mean go... if you if you do go there and and search 164 we'll know whether or not he went this way or this other way basically right okay yeah i'm gonna go ahead and make that move there and the only only circle that i'm adjacent to then would be uh 164. i have not been there all right okay dokie so then he's i think he's skirting i think he's skirting to the to the north northeast All right, so that's all of our movements, correct? That's correct. Okay. He he gets to run away some more. Yes, he does. Oh, right. I was muted. Yep. So, so he's moved one space again. <laughs> I mean, you might as well be muted. We don't... <laughs> you you have uh, determined your movement. Yes, I have. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start moving. Police bin yellow will go in here. Um, I don't think can he be there already? How many moves has he made? Three. Three. Yeah, he's made three. There's the possibility that he could be to like 116. I'm trying to think one if he went. No, he said he didn't go 139. So no, he couldn't be up there yet. Okay. All right. And then green. I'm going to move probably green this way. Something around that area. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna head up that direction, probably to here. Yeah, with you, have a 113 and you have a good chance of picking up his trail, I feel, possibly on the back end at least. Okay, I'm gonna move mine straight down here. I mean, there's so did all the others move then? 
Yes, you're the All last right. one. All right, then I'm headed over here, and I will say to Nathan, 113. Nope. 114. Nope. I mean, I, I'm going to say, too, just because there is a remote chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 59. Uh, what is 59? It's, it's way it's up here, here by the blue. Oh. Nope. <laughs> 60. Nope. Mm. Okay. So, I figured, but yeah, it looks it looks like he ducked through maybe this way. Possibly. Okay, you get to move one more time there. Yep, I do. This one I have to actually think about. That might that's interesting. If I do that's very interesting. Yep, that is what I am doing. Oops. Okay, you are using a coach token. Which means I uh oh. Like I just fell through the Oh, it's in your hidden area. So it goes here. Oh, wait. No, it would, yeah, it would be here. So I, I'm on three. So I would, so the thing with the coach, I'm moving two spaces, but the space I move through is not a visible thing. So if you search, it will not show up as a place I've been. Only the second movement on this move will show up. Um, Does that make sense? Yeah. That makes sense. So he just leaped numbers. Okay. So I've moved two spaces. And With one action. I could move through a policeman. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But it also advanced me two spaces on the night thing. Try. Okie dokie. Um... I mean, if he did move it, use it to move through somebody, he could have moved through what, blue or red? I don't think he's close enough to move through yellow, is he? I don't think that would have happened. That's kind of far out. Or it could just be moving it to using it to move faster. Or yeah, or, yeah it could be a misdirection <laughs> as well. It's true. Um, when it, it, the official rules, here's a quick question: the official rules does it does it matter which of these policemen goes first? It does not. No. Okay, I was just I didn't know if it did or not. Uh, real quick, we've just established an order, and we might as well stick with it, right? Well, well, well I was gonna I was gonna say real quick. I might go ahead and move. Yeah, if you want to go first this round, just to confirm that that's where he left the scene from, that's I'm, fine. My name. I'm I'm just gonna move one space. Okay. So that way I can say three locations. Sure. And I will read off one thirty seven. Nope. 114. Nope. 115. Nope. All right. He did not go that way. Okay. Um, I think that means he pretty much went down this way, right? I, I'm assuming down to 174 and then down into this area. Yes. That's my current, current okay. assumption. Bubkiss. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once you get closer to me, T turn order can be quite important because you might like oh narrow it down i was here at one point oh right the next guy goes and tries to rest there yeah okay so uh yellow is going to be moving this way i think um i'm going to move green around this way try to try to loop around and close them off that direction evan you want to move brown and blue brown down there I will move myself here, I guess. Okay. And do and when you guys move, do you still say the numbers just in case? Or, um, or, or we, do we, we just... should we should probably start searching in earnest because um we might like, blindly find ourselves. We might blindly find a piece of trail, especially now that he's used a coach token. Yeah, so um so uh, yellow can only call out 98, though he probably hasn't been through there. I've never been there. Okay. okay. And then green can call out 140 
uh, only. I have never been there. Brown can do 123. I've never been there. 125. Nope. 78. Wait, 78? What are blue. you talking about? He, he didn't tell you blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, blue. blue. Okay, 78. 78. No. 96. Uh, no. Okay. okay. All right. I thought he was just throwing out numbers and saying, I know. He just started randomly saying, no. <laughs> 125, 356. Call, call him out, guys. So he'll, he'll screw up. A if bit. you guys didn't say anything, we, we would have won. <laughs> all right. Uh, so that's, again. that's all the uh, yeah that's all the investigators movement. Mm-hmm. Oh, I am currently. So as a reminder, I am currently at this location, uh, which is there. So yeah, I think that. I'm happy with how this is going so far. So I think I'll just continue with that plan and go here. Nathan, currently we don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Which is different from other times, maybe. So I moved. Okay. All right. Um, so let's see. We want to move, but we want to move in such a way that we can also like search locations where it could possibly be. And he's moved six times since the murder scene. That's a pretty large swath of area. So that could be this. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so just to be aware, it's pretty unlikely you'll catch me for the first night unless I'm really doing something stupid. Uh, but the important thing is catch my trail so you know where I'm headed. Yes. Um, okay, I think yellow is just going to move the one space and check this thoroughfare area when we get to that portion. Um, I'm going to move green down this way. Okay. Evan, you want to move a couple pieces? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm I'm going to still backtrack here in this back area and go here to here. That'll give me at least three numbers to call out just in case he went backwards. Oh, yeah. Like away from the center of the board. I got you. Yeah. The, so yeah. The, I I'll, mean, that's process of elimination. It is a yeah. deduction style game. So yeah, sure. I'll, I'll go ahead and call out my numbers then of 135. Nope. Oh. 136. Nope. 148. And no. Okay. That was a, what that was what I expected, but just in case. All right. For blue there, 115. Nope. 116. Nope. Okay. For yellow. Uh, I figured. Hey, for yellow there, 118. Yes. I was there okay. at one point. So yellow stops searching, right? I can't guess yes. additional numbers. Okay, dokey. Um, Everybody having fun and enjoying this? <laughs> oh my no goodness. Stress. <laughs> no stress at all. Uh -uh. So uh, green can guess, what is that? Uh, 170? Uh, no. <laughs> and 181? No. I didn't think so. Okay. And then brown. Uh, 123? Nope. Uh, 125? Nope. I think that's it for Brown. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so we found it. We found it. We found a hint of a trail, at least. And again, there's the chance that he's possibly there now. Th th it is a chance that he's possibly right there right now. Okay. Um, I doubt it, but... Yeah. probably not since he's on move four because he'd have to like double back that's only like two moves away from the the crime scene well, well if, if my hideout was over here i'm you know over like at 115 i might want to double back and just circle around a little bit because red came in from this direction 
Um, yeah. Did you previously search 118 and he wasn't there? I don't no. remember. I don't. Well, I, shoot. We really should be taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you have the little yellow things. But yeah. Okay. It's, it's fine. Nathan, you moving yet? <laughs> oh, yes. It's my turn to move, isn't it? Uh, so now that you found a clue of where I was at one point, Maybe I'm there now. Maybe I'm far away. Do I want to speed this along a little bit? Oh, that might be a good idea. No, I'll just do a standard move. I'm going to go to number something. <laughs> and that moves ahead. All right. Um, so, I if think ye so if yellow stays there, he could guess, start guessing the other two numbers, right? Um, yes. yeah, I, I feel like that might be the best option for yellow, okay. right? Is to not move and to try searching some more in that area. Just to see if it tells us which direction he maybe he started going, but. Or from, you know, you yeah, don't know. Right. <laughs> no, true. Uh, so. Green's going to move probably up this direction, right? Just towards the yellow marker. Red's going to move down here. Okay. So I'm going to take blue up this way. Okay. In case he is coming up this way and then makes that hard left. All right. And then uh, Bren gets to move. How about we go brown to right here? Okay. Okay. All right. Um, that I'll way, if you I'll check start searching. One, 120, we could potentially arrest in 120. Okay. I'm going to check. Uh, I'm going to check 119 first, just to be on the safe side. Nope. Okay. I'm going to check 120. Nope. Okay. All right, so yellow, that's everything that yellow could do. Um, I doubt he's down here, but I'll check uh, 140 with green. Nope. And 154 is the other number that could check. Nope. Okay. Brown can check 99. Nope. Uh, and 100. Nope. Okay. Blue's got right. a lot to check. Uh, 78. Nope. 79. Nope. 80. Nope. 97. Nope. All right. And red just has two to check and that's 163. Nope. 174. Yes. I was there okay. at one point. Yep. Okay. So that's the, how he escaped. That's the initial escape. Way through. Yeah. That's the initial escape. Hmm. We don't like you, Nathan. Yeah, quit laughing. It's not. It's not. It's not okay. <laughs> it's a nervous laugh, but I'm, I'm sure. Um, yeah. So I got to decide where I'm going. Uh, you can turn yourself in because you feel bad. It's perfectly fine. So let's take. Plan. So he's moved one, two, three, one, two, three, um, eight, eight. He'll have moved nine spaces after he moves, something oh, like man. that. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, and nine spaces is a lot. Yeah, it's a whole lot of spaces. We we've got a bead on him. Ah, he's uh, using an alley token. Yeah, he is. Oh, uh, that's terrible for us. Just to make it a little harder for you. You didn't okay. have to do that. So it was hard um, enough. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. leave too much of a trail. That's, yeah, that's going to be rough. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> well, I left, I, I'm just happy with the trail you found. So just add to the confusion. I don't so I'm be finding move, any more. I'm going to move Brown up here. Okay. In case the alley, if he w went here and cut across this way. He, he could have gone from 98 to 83 mm -hmm. with the alley token. 
That's what it does. Um, Correct. I could have done that possibly. Um, speaking of the alley token, so I'm assuming it's, it's two circles only disconnected by the brown building. Yeah, they have to so be like, on the same. They have to be on the same block, basically. Right. So like 98 to 117 would be a no. No, I could not do that. Yep. Okay, that's what that I is thought. Correct. Um, man, I'm not sure where I wanted to move my peoples. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna move my blue only one to here and that's going to give me the access to these three here okay uh that sounds like you guys are pretty um should should i move yellow just one space just to check 98 do you think that's worth it it might not be terrible Now is with an alley token is ninety eight to eighty an acceptable move? Ninety eight. Uh, where's eighty? Yes, that would be. Yeah, as long as I'm only yeah. traveling through brown. Yeah, they're on that same block there. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so I guess that's like the best thing that yellow can do, right? Since everybody else has got that. I. I mean, I guess I could move there to check ninety eight instead of there. And yeah, I don't think it's a huge difference either way. Okay. Uh, Green's stuck in these back alleys, so he's going to be doing a lot of nothing. Um, let me think about that. I guess there. Right there? Yeah, just to make sure he didn't duck over this direction. You're making me nervous. All right, and I made my move already, so. Okay, I think all the peoples have moved, correct? I believe so. I will start with the only one I can choose, and that is 139. Okay, he I was, was there, there at one point. Yep. Yeah. You right. checked there before, but I had not been there at that time. Yeah, that was, I think, one. I think that might have been my very first guess, possibly. I think so. Yeah. All right. I'm going to say 80. Nope. 62. Yes. I'm not happy with this. <laughs> okay, oh. you, that stops with blue. Were you at 98? Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, brown. Uh, brown here. Uh, yeah, what does Brown got? Brown's just uh, got 83. Eight, and six, and and 65. 65. Oh, okay. I haven't been in neither. Okay. okay. And, and then green. Green's got 151. Nope. And 153. No. Okay. All right. So he's going this way, guys. Yeah, so we, we closed in the dragnet, and at some point in time, he, he escaped out of our net. Probably with a stupid alley token. I'm going to have to make this harder for you guys again. So the question <laughs> is, where was he that he used his alley? Um, yeah, we don't know. We only know that he was here. Like this, this looks like every other step to me, potentially, right? <laughs> and he hires another coach. We got one more. You don't have to use them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just because you have them, it's not a necessity. I tell my youngest, oh, just because it's there. Doesn't mean you have to use it. That's that's what makes it rough is that he all those special ability tokens basically recharge with each night, though he does get less later. I get fewer, yes. Yeah. Um, one key thing is I cannot use it to actually escape. So my escape movement has to be a normal movement to get to my hideout. Your your, your movement there where you end at your hideout, yeah. Yeah. Because the Kate coachman will turn me in, I think, if I <laughs> if he knew where my hideout was. It's an, it's like interesting. It. Okay. All right. Um well, where do we want to start poking around? We got to start poking around yeah. this one, I think, right? Well, mine's going to be super easy. So I, I'm going to go straight up here. Check like those two. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um I'm going to move green straight up cuz like 
yeah, Green's Jeez. basically got nothing. Um, I'll, I'll search there, but. I guess yellow's going to go here to just check 82 because you weren't able to search 82, right? No, I was not. I'm going to move brown to right here. So that's going to give us these two here. Okay. I, All right. moved, I moved red to here. Yeah. You better start calling them out. Yeah. One, 116. 116. No. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll do green next. That's the, the other one that's probably going to be blanks. 119. Nope. 120. No. Okay. Uh, 180 or sorry, not 180. Uh, eight, just 82. Nope. Okay. You can do 80 also. Oh, 80. No. Okay. Uh, Brown can do 63. No. Nope. 64. No. Nope. All right. And then I'm up here. I'm going to do 46 first. No. Nope. 48. Yep. I don't like you, Evan. Yes. Uh, we may be we may be closing in on a rest here next turn. What do you guys think? No comment. <laughs> I'm just I'm still trying to like connect the dots with how many movements he's had. So like for me, 174 was his first move. I did that out. Uh huh. To then 164 with a single move. To then 139. Uh with a single move. Because right, one, two, three. Yeah, but no, his is that when he coached? A, his third move was a coach. That was the coach. Okay. It could have been one. Uh, yeah, that could be two. That could be two. That could have been two, but then that would have been three, and that's not a coach movement. So, well, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. It was after the, my third movement. Well, the first movement went here, two, three, then the coach. I should coach technically be there, I think. Oh, I was okay. going to say, I think you gave yourself an extra, an extra turn because would the coach cover these two up and then your token goes on four? Uh, it goes on three. I've just never been clear whether, okay, it goes here and then you're on three or here and you go on top of it. I think it goes here, then you're on three, but. Okay. All right. All right. That's fine. Either way. Um, so is, is he moving now or? Uh, yeah. I yeah. We've, we're done searching. That's what I thought. Okay. Eh. I do have to do my movement. Nathan's got to be careful because he's starting to run out of time now. I'm running out of time, and you've been finding a lot of my trails more than I'm comfortable with you finding. So I think I'm going to have to use another. I, I think I know what he's going to do. An al another alley. He's going to spam another alley. <laughs> no, I'm going to use another coach. That's what I thought he was going to do to speed up uh, yeah, I, i'd be on 10 i think yeah i'm on 10 Th this is movement 10 you think yep it is okay. i can because easily tell on my board but okay i think i think on that turn he was actually at 48 i highly suspected that as well uh so if he coached he might have coached through one of us uh, that are up here. Um, so I don't know. It might be really smart to not move and just search the same areas again to make sure they didn't move through us. I I think red is going to move still. Yeah. Because I'm nowhere near where he is, I don't think. So I think I'm still going to go up here. Okay, that's fine. What do you think about, because this is you and me in this area over here, Evan. What do you, what do you think about what we're doing? I'm thinking, if I was Nathan, what would I do? 
(laughs) (laughs) Dangerous thing to get in my mind. Yeah, I'm not even going to try that. Um, so like he was at 48, so he either, uh, depending upon where he is, or, or assuming that he was at or near 48. Um, okay. Depending so upon I, where his hideout is, uh, he could have coached through Brown this way, through yellow down this way, though green's back there. So maybe not. So or, we can eliminate, uh, we can eliminate part of the board here. So if, if he was trying to get to this general area, he wouldn't have coached. I feel he would have alleyed his way to get over here. It's probably right. So I think that moves him to this. But I don't think he would double back through yellow because green and red are right behind. Uh, I I, concur. So that either leaves him going through brown or blue. Uh Uh-huh. And I feel that brown would be the more likely of the two. Um, probably because that's closer to the center of the table, right? Just as a general geography. Yeah. And I, I'm thinking if brown actually just moves one to right here. And then I slide two this way. If he doesn't pop up on any of these, then we know we have to close up, up to the top of the map. Okay. And we've kind of cornered him that way. That sounds like a plan that I'm willing to follow. And if it doesn't fail, we blame Dan. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sold. <laughs> uh, says the says um, the quiet guy moving the red pond way far away from all the action. So, what am I doing with yellow here? Because these two have got this air this direction pretty well canvassed. Well, take yellow. If, um, if we got that, send him straight up. Yeah, this way. Right? Mm-hmm. And then... Um, if we move... If, I was going to say, if we move green up two, he can still guess 98 just in case he did slide through yellow. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's workable. And that's everybody moved, right? Yeah, that's everybody we, moved. We, we have this elaborate plan and watch it'll be like right by peter and <laughs> we'll be like what the heck is going on <laughs> well let's um, go ahead and let's go ahead and narrow me out then i will say 96 no and 97 no yep okay, okay. i'm gonna as yellow say uh 46 no okay and then as green say 98 no okay um as blue, 29. No. And 30. Yes. Yes! He's there. Oh, look at that. He's I, right I, there, I, I'm telling you. I think Evan needs to be my next victim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm fairly certain I know where his hideout is. Oh, wow. Really? Really? I, I, I'm in Nathan's brain right now. Okay, that's awesome. So I mean, Brown, well, what so about, he, uh, I mean, Nathan has to be within five moves of his hideout, or else he loses the game at the end of the night. Does right. he, yeah, and does he have any special tokens left? He still has one alley. Yeah, I still have an alley. Okay. Yeah. So does Brown still need to call it sixty four and sixty six? Might as well. We know they're probably blanks, but yeah, they're both blank. Okay. Okay. Oh boy, guys, it's getting. I, I mean, if we if we do arrest him in the middle of night one, this will be the shortest game of this I've ever seen. So, so, if, so if he's at thirty right now and he alleys, he wouldn't go to twenty eight because he, he has to go to he twelve would... or thirteen if he alleys. Yeah, he can move mm-hmm. just one and make it all the way to fourteen. That's quite a distance. Right, but that might be in the opposite direction of where he's trying to get. It might be. Okay. So T- the tables have turned and Nathan doesn't like me now. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Usually Nathan's all after me and stuff and I'm after him. So I'll let you two have it tonight. So this is where I'm going using the alley token. Yeah. 
Yeah, and yeah. I, I'm just realizing I could be like muting and talking to the audience. Oh, you could be. But uh, the danger is like forgetting on me uh, when I'm muted and not <laughs> muted and accidentally <laughs> saying it out loud. <laughs> right, that's true. Uh, so I've done my move. I've used an alley. See, now the downside is with the alley where he was, that could be 28, 8, 10, 29, 50, 31, 32, 13, and 12. But it's okay, Evan, because you're in his brain, so you know where he I, went. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's only laughing because he knows it's true. I just got to check some things so I know, make sure I give you correct information when you ask about things. Oh, man. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and move red. Red's going to go here. And here. Okay. So yellow needs to keep moving straight because that's going to check out 8 and 28 when it goes. I see Dan circling here, but I don't hear anything. I'm sorry. I was on mute because that, that's what I was guessing. Else. Yep. <laughs> Are you moving um, green? Yeah, I think that's the best space for him to be. Okay. Sounds good. Just as a dragnet option, just as a can't move through me. All right. So then Evan, are you moving blue and brown? I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> Please, please do, because I can't do anything over here with red. I'm too. I'm so okay. far away from the action. So brown's gonna go here. Uh huh. I like it. And blue's gonna go straight up. Okay. Okay. So yeah, now we're gonna be able to determine whether or not. Like he moved we to should. this block, this block, or this block, right? Yeah, we should in theory. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of the nonsense ones first. Uh, green will call out 63. Nope. 65. Nope. And 82. Nope. And okay. red will call out 79. Nope. Okay. Uh, yellow will call out 26. Nope. 28. Okay, that's the end of Yellow's move. So he has gone this way. Yes. So let's clear out the rest of these here. 12? Nope. Uh, what's that? Four? Where's four? Right here. Oh, nope. 11? Nope. Uh, Brown's got 31. No, not, not 31. I don't think. Oh, yeah, 31. Yeah, you can see 31. And 50. I have not been in either of those. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Now okay. he's out of special tokens, right? I am out of special tokens. Okay. He's only got four moves left. What am I going to do? I am currently at this location. And I need to get to this location. What location oh, is that, no. Nathan? I will not say. I <laughs> have just escaped. Oh, man. Okay. So you have just escaped. Yes, I got uh, to my after hideout. After you took your, your one move. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, that means that we know, uh, his, we know his hideout is basically... One move from 28, right? Yeah, somewhere around here. So it could be two, it could be nine, eight. It can't be two because he can't move through me. Ah, oh, oh, that's right. True. So it can't be two and eight. It's got to be like 27, 46, 29, 45, 47. Technically, could it be 26 since your square does not block that left turn there? Yeah. 26. Okay. But yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, I mean, 
You might be right on. You might be way <laughs> off. Who knows? I'm not going to say. Is, is anybody is anybody writing down those locations? Does it matter now, or does he choose a new hideout? No, no. no the hideout remains the same for the entire game. Okay, so does somebody want to write down the things that we think that are possible? Got uh, it. Evan, you're okay, taking Good notes. job, Evan. All right, thanks. Okay, so 26, I, 27, 46, 47, 46, 47, 45, 45, 45 48. Te- technically, it's possible. Yeah, technically possible. This and is a game where like, one little mistake can be very costly <laughs> as far as your logic. I so, mean, even if it's not one of those numbers he just wrote down, we know it's in this area of the board. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that'll help nothing, us. Set, that'll help us. Their logic. <laughs> going, that'll help us set up police tokens in future rounds. Okay. Right. Speak, so yeah. Speaking of future rounds, how does how does this next setup go? Okay, so we're gonna shift to night two. So the first thing that's going to happen is I am going to, once again, put out my potential victims. I'm sorry. Did you hit a, a coding button? It didn't look like it cleaned up the clues or the murder vic- location. Uh, the murder location should stay. Okay. Usually, I think the clues are supposed to clear, but... Um... Did you hit this night setup button yet or no? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. So let's maybe just clear the clues. Okay. So that will just confuse you later. I was going to say, so when we call out locations in this next night, is your movement from night one still applicable? Okay. Right. What do you call each, each, each night? You're only searching for clues from the most recent murder. Okay. We have we have knowledge from the previous night that um, we get to use potentially. Now, do we stay where we're at right now? Uh, I'll go over that in a second. But oh, okay. Potentially, because that's where the decoys come in. So. You, again, you have more black tokens than you have players. So you have to replace all the player tokens with black tokens, but they can be decoys. And the ones that don't go where the pawns are have to go in one of the yellow squares. So basically five of, them, five of your tokens have to be where these players are. Two of them can be just any yellow squares. Um, you didn't get the full allotment of eight uh, white tokens this round? No, nope, because correct? one of them is already dead. Ah, so I get okay. seven. Gotcha. Next yep. night, I have to kill twice. All right, Evan, do you feel confident enough to want to try to place the uh, the tokens? Since Dan did it last time? Yeah, I'm going to put these in your hidey hole, Evan. <laughs> um, let me take a look at the map here. Okay, not a problem. We, we definitely don't want to be all bunched up back here, I don't think. Because what if he act, what if he decides to kill, I don't know, somebody out in left field? Right. Like, we know he's got to get back to this general area, but that doesn't mean he's going to start close to there. Okay. So this is the one that's going to replace this one. Okay. okay. Um, this one's going to replace green. Yeah, and you're making sure to flip those before you pull them out of the box. Yep. That one's going to be real. The top one's going to be fake. First one. Okay. This one's going to replace brown. Okay. Uh, That one will be real. Making his guesses already. This one's going to replace blue. That one will be real. 
just trying to make himself feel better for not doing as good on the first round as he thought he was going <laughs> Actually, that one will be the one down. Those two on the right will probably be fake, and these two will be real, two in the center, I think. You got one more uh, policeman to replace over here. Put this one here. Hmm. Do I think that's real? Or f- I think that's fake. Hmm. Careful, don't lift them up too much. When you lift them up, I can see. I'll try not to look at that, though. All right. This one is going to go here. And then this one. I think we're going to put right here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Seems okay. At least we've got coverage. I honestly don't remember which one I put where. <laughs> oh, you flubbed it then. Okay, so those three are the actual potential victims. Oh, there should be four. Um, there's four. Well, yeah, there's yeah. four. Okay. Yep. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Now I see the all of them. I had a top-down view, so it wasn't clear. Okay. Um, All right. Are you going to kill right away or are you going to wait? I guess. That's a good question. Oh. Do I want to? I'm going to kill right away, actually. Good okay. choice. I approve. <laughs> <laughs> so let's place these investigators. I am killing here, by the way. Okay. okay. There's, a, there's the crime scene. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, yep. So I may have chosen well. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Well, I got to write down. That's my starting point on... Roman numeral one. So where's my first move going to be? I might I'm start feel, I'm feeling really good about closing in on this round if that's where the murder is and we, and uh, this is the general area where his, his hideout is. I do too. I mean, do we feel like he's just trying to make a break for it right away? I think I mean, what, he, oh, he, no, might, he, might try, he might try to bum rush it. Yeah. Yeah, right. I'm going um, go to. So, that. depending on what Nathan does, I will tell you which way he's going. He's using a coach right away. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that is what I'm doing. This is I think passage. if he's using a coach, turn one. Um, Hold on. I'm going to send you guys a message on Discord so he can't see it. Oh, I <laughs> like it. I like it. <laughs> I am. I fully approve. I'm not sure message. that's. I, I'm not. I'm not sure if that's uh, uh, appropriate to the to the uh, <laughs> to the uh, the to the theme of the game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Discord wouldn't have existed. Oh, hush. (laughs) I mean, I'm not sure secret communication is allowed or not. It's thematically, I don't see a reason for it not to be allowed. I know, (laughs) right? I mean, most of it, most of it, it has to be. I I feel for Nathan here. I feel like it should be table talk. (laughs) It's all right. You guys are not. It's not like Jack the Ripper could hear everything Scotland Yard said. Come on, people. At least like in uh, 
Okay, I, I will send the message. Just we'll, we'll keep it above above board <laughs> it's up here. To you. It's my, I don't mind. Uh, I so, feel like he actually went down this way. So that's what I was gonna say. So right now, I am fairly confident that he's gone down, and I think he's going to try and backdoor his way in, coming up through like one sixteen and stuff. Hmm. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to take care of the the guy that's way out here. Yeah, yeah, you do that. Okay. Um, let's see. He he killed there and he took a coach. Um, so Red will go there just to make sure he didn't land on thirty. All right. Yeah, that's where I was planning on moving, anyways. Oh, sorry, that was you technically. <laughs> <laughs> I do still want to play the game a little bit. Um, <laughs> Do actually yellow can be there. Red can be there. That's a little better, right? Uh, yeah, because I guess if he went that way, then one of them could guess 31st. And if he's there, then the other one could go ahead and try to arrest. Um, yeah, I mean, Red also has the opportunity to search twenty line, which he could have gone Correct. to. Correct, exactly. Uh, so yeah, I'll go to I'll, I'll go. I'll use yellow as a backup there, right? That I seems think you okay. Should, I think you should bring your green straight down. That way, if he's cutting across, you might be able to. So you grab want green him. to be here? Mm hmm. Okay. So what's so what's Brown doing? If he if he from 84, if he decided to go up and to the left, he could be at 82, making a rush for it. So if Brown goes here. I mean, he could also be at 63. He could have coached through Brown. Oh, that's true. 63 could be it. Brown is actually in a good spot to stay where he's at. Yeah, I think Brown should stay put and search these three spots just to be on the safe side. Okay, so we're all done moving. Um, I have uh, taken Peter as a victim. <laughs> not peter not peter <laughs> okay Yo. so i have to figure out what i'm doing oh uh, well, we haven't searched yet oh yeah you got to search yes yeah let, let, give us our searches Come on. <laughs> Gar um, gar garbage numbers of 128 okay. 144 143 nope 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 okay uh, where are these oh down there okay nope 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 okay more garbage numbers 97 nope 117 nope okay uh, let me do yellow next. I'm going to go with uh, 10 should be garbage, right? Nope. And then 30. No. Okay. That would be nice if it was at 30 for you guys. You <laughs> yes, it, it would. <laughs> okay. You want to continue with red? Or brown? I had to step away for a second. What did what did everybody guess already? Everybody but uh, red and brown. Let's guess. I, I did search 30 and he answered no in case okay. you missed that. So then red's only other option would be 29. No. Okay. Okay. Brown? So brown should do 63 first. Nope. 82. Nope. And that's it, right? I mean, you can guess 65, but he's not on 65, oh. I don't think. Yeah, no, I'm not on 65. That's not it. Now, if, with a carriage, you have to move two. You can't use carriage and only move one, correct? Uh, yes, that's correct. Okie dokie. I'm currently here. And I'm kind of sorry for doing this. <laughs> Allie, he's not, he's not. He's not sorry at all. No, another carriage. Another carriage? Totally another carriage. Yeah, totally absolutely. another carriage. Oh my. So yeah, he's just blitzing, right? He's just blitzing. I'm trying to give you as little evidence of where I am as possible. So like he's carriaged twice. So like there's almost no trail at this point, right? Yeah, you found too much evidence on the first night. I can't let you have any so, evidence this night. So I think he's either 
He's going to be at 62, 81, or 117. Uh, if my theory is correct. He could have gone through here, too. I'll just say, Peter was really on to something last night, but uh, he didn't really fall. Well, you guys didn't really fall through with it. What was Peter doing last night? I mean, he found your initial trail. About coming down through this way. Oh. Well, I'm going to take care of my blue guy here because he's still really far away. Let me think about this. Um, if I was he, Nathan, what would I do? If he carriage twice, he could already be at 28. He could be at 28. He could be at 27. Uh, he could already be back yeah, here. He's our, he, can, he, he could he, he could hit his he could hit his um his hideout his hideout his next, next turn. move if yeah. he took the really risky play, which you know so, I like doing, yeah. <laughs> which we know he likes doing. I'm going to move yellow out this way to search these three numbers. Yeah, I think I think he's about to. I think he's about to be in his hideout. So, if I was Nathan. My play would have been trying to avoid as much clues popping out as possible. I would almost be willing to carriage to a spot and then carriage back to where I was. Oh, oh. Because then that's two moves that I effectively didn't go anywhere without having to wait. So you think there's a chance he could be back at 84? I, I'm, I think... That's that's almost mind blowing to me. <laughs> I say we move. I say we move Brown right here. All right. Um, well, I can move Green. Where does Green want to go? Because if I'm right with Brown, then he has to alley away to to dodge you. Yeah. And there are only too many, so many places you can alley from eighty four. Mm hmm. Uh, you guys are thinking pretty hard, huh? I guess I'm going to move green in here. Thinking hard and not hard enough. I got you guys uh, stressed, seems like. Or maybe this way. Maybe this way. Maybe green goes back here. That seems like a good move. Yeah, I like what Pete did, just did. That's cool. Okay. I like it. Um, I still haven't moved green. Did blue move? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's not going to be able to find his trail. This might find his trail. Possibly. Not that finding his trail would be particularly useful, but... I would say finding my trail in this night would be very useful for you, people, you guys. Yeah, but there's real, literally only three numbers on your sheet right now. Literally, right. only three of them. It would give you a lot of information, though. Okay, I guess green will go there. It's... Okay. All right, who are we starting with? Brown? Um, David, yeah, let's start with these two people over here, okay. right? So... 125. No. 126. No. All right. Do you want to try to arrest with Brown as your one search Might action? Well. Might as well, because that's all you can search there. Yep. I'm not there, though. Okay. All right. It was a good a good thought. It was really <laughs> it was a good thought. Okay. Thinking. Okay. Uh, that's the kind of so thing I would do. Carriaged, if he carriaged once, he could have landed on 82 so i'm going to search 82 nope okay uh, i'll say 62 nope 80 nope okay so green's a blank all right so now we're down to 
the, all these numbers up here. So red is going to say 48. Nope. And 46. Nope. Okay. okay. Yellow is going to say 26. Nope. 28. Nope. Eight. Nope. Okay. You guys all done? Yes, unfortunately. I honestly do feel a little bad about this. Oh, he said, here goes the alley. No. No, oh. he's going to move once. He's going to declare that he's in his hideout, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, but, no, he, 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 he reached his hideout in, within five moves, which puts him in the same vicinity that he was before, more or less. Um, so interestingly enough, at the end of this night, he must have moved into his hideout, not through an investigator. We're clogging this area pretty well. Hmm. I'll let you discuss and let me know when you're ready for your uh for the next night i i i so want to just play a little playback just so i could see where we were <laughs> well <laughs> all right so if 48 was not one i mean none of these were one is there a way that he could have gotten to 45 47 61 at all Um, what's the he carriage twice? Yeah, so he started at 84. So it's two carriages and a regular move, and he was there, right? Two oh, carriages, yeah. yeah. Two carriages and a regular move. And Evan, did you write down everything that we guessed on this night? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I totally could be in any of these places over here. Yeah, I don't so think he, we've effectively narrowed down the possible location of his hideout any more fine than we had it before. Well, right? if he care if he would have carriaged uh, sixty five eighty two, he he didn't though because we guessed eighty two and he said no. That's and why he it's would important have for us to have written that. Yeah, because I didn't write any of that down. So, I mean, there's no clues on the board. So, I think his first carriage was through this way potentially right but we guessed 48 and he didn't go there no but i carriage twice so i wouldn't have to go there that's correct oh so even though you travel through it you don't that's you don't right technically respond oh okay never mind then yeah I misunderstood that part so he could have gone 63 and then ended up in like 45 47 yeah through 48 so he's right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't think we've narrowed it down anymore. We know it's not north of 28. We know it's not south of like 81, for example. Okay. So yeah, that's important. So that's like in the first night where I was like, I, when you saw a clue here and then here, because I had carriage, so there's no clue in between. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess so, we're setting up for the next night where he gets to kill off two peoples. Nathan's a bad, bad man. Yeah, he is. Yeah, they, they do say the most experienced person should be uh, Jack the Ripper, but I feel like my, my experience is making it a little bit too hard for you guys. That's okay. No, hard, that's hard is good. Hard is good. So we're, we're having fun. Absolutely. The, I mean, the fact that we narrowed it down so much in the round one really puts a really puts a linchpin on this game. I feel. I feel like this is now I, winnable. I, for us. I just I would like to know how close we were to getting Nathan in round one. <laughs> I feel like there was right? at least multiple times you guys were like, you you guessed it and he was on it, and we just couldn't arrest because we didn't have somebody else right next to it. So that should have been on. But we needed that. In, we needed that information yeah. that he was there at one point in time, and he in order to attempt no, the arrest. No, right? absolutely. Yeah. Oh, uh, putting more people out in left field again, huh? Okay. So I now only have two carriages and a lantern. 
I will kill twice this night. So the first kill, I'll do two kills in a row. Okay. The second kill will determine where I start, but you will not know which order I killed it. Right. So oh, be- so, so you know which one was second, but we won't. Right. Okay. There, there will be two crime scenes, and one of them is basically a red herring. Yep. I got you. The second kill will count as my first movement, so you guys will go first as far as movement. Okay. So if you guys want to, uh, one of you guys want to determine uh, what do, all the do detectives you want to are? take a try at the at the patrol tokens or not? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, no pressure. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so. The way that it works again is that we have to place circles where each of us are currently, and then, and then there'll two be two more that on the we yellow have to squares. place on yellow squares. And you've got you've got blanks there so that you can sort of bluff where we're going to start. And right. then when you're placing the patrol tokens, keep in mind where he decided to place the the white tokens, right? Because those are the potential uh, victim starting locations. Well, I mean, those are those are all of his options, right? He he yeah. could only choose those places because the other I mean, that's two. Where, yeah, that's where the that's where the victims are going to start. Right. He can he can wait to have them move a little bit. Yeah, there was there was only one other possible victim space that he's not used so far. And that was down here at one forty nine. Right. Um. Yeah. So well, that was actually my first one. Oh, oh that was the first Except one. That, well, oh, okay. I think I could technically use it again since the, I moved it. So it didn't actually okay. get killed there, but yeah, what I call it. He, he can't he can't revisit a crime scene, but he he can like put a token there and and respawn oh, okay. another person there. Yeah, I gotcha. So just for, as a reminder, two of these are bluffs and three of them are real potential yes. victims. And of the three potential victims, two are gonna be gone. Uh-huh. All right. So did that effectively hide those just yes. now? Yes. Okay. Yep. So you cannot save these two, but maybe if you catch me tonight, you can save the last one. He's rubbing it in, guys. He is. He's such a terrible person. <laughs> I feel like this is a little bit of a dark episode. I mean, we're only playing a game about murder, so. All right, so this one is going to replace the yellow token. Okay. Well, I suppose Morkborg wasn't much more pleasant. <laughs> no, that's true. Morkborg was probably a, a bit darker than this one, but that's okay. This is a good game. This is a good question for a, a silent moment. Is there a hidden is there a hidden movement game that does not have a dark theme to it? I mean, technically nuns on the run, right? Yeah. Nuns on the run, okay. I, I've Which not we played, have mentioned not on the channel of, before. We have. I remember you guys mentioning that one before. Yeah, I haven't played Scotland Yard, but that's much more focused on the detective side, from my understanding. All right, this one's going to go ahead and replace Brown. I'm sorry, Nathan abducted me for a minute. (laughs) This one is going to replace red. I suppose one of the things you should consider is uh, which part of my trails did I intentionally leave? For you to find, <laughs> I am known to do that. I'll go. I'll go a different direction just to so you find that with the intention of you finding that trail. I don't think there was too much. Uh, what to call? It? I mean, we found you pretty close to when you declared you were at your hideout night one. <laughs> so I, I feel like our estimate is 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 um, minimally accurate. I feel. That? I feel that we blindly found the trail, like right as he was leaving it, and Nathan kind of panicked a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I, I was shocked at how much of my trail you found, but 
one's going to go there. I mean, this you found is, half of the places I was This at. one's going to replace the green token. Okay. This one's going to replace the blue token. Got what? One more to put out? One more to put out. Yep, that's the one I was thinking. All right. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh. Okay. So now he's got to pick his two murder victims. So well, he places the wretched first. And place them. Okay, so those yeah. are the potential victims. And now he decides whether or not he's going to wait or kill. That's right. That's right. Okay. Hmm. should have done that oh yeah i will kill okie dokie uh okay, so i know which two he's getting killing this one yeah mm -hmm. uh-huh and, and this that one, one. Mm -hmm. so i have to write those two numbers down interesting you won't choices. know the orders right so we, we don't know which one of those was your second one correct Correct. Okay. But we do, right? Because technically he removed 147 seconds, so that had to be the second one, right? <laughs> I suspect he's doing another blitz run. I am assuming that as well. <laughs> uh, I do feel a little bad about that. So that technically was already my movement. So I'm at one of those two locations right now. Correct. Let's do the, uh, let's remove, uh, return the wretches. And place the investigators. Uh, look at that. Which is really smart because if he did 27, we could just go and arrest him right there. Correct. Correct. So that really wasn't an option for him. Okay. So he, technically, he's already moved. So it's on us. It is. Uh, so we, we don't have enough movement points to actually arrest on three. Mm -hmm. We can close this dragnet pretty tightly. What tokens well, does he have available? So, yeah, so he still has two carriages or two coaches. Mm. So he two could bust and a lantern. So he could bust through us pretty fast if we get too close. Again, I'm feeling kind of bad about making this a little too hard on you guys. No, well, I know, gonna, I, why do you feel bad? That, this I'm going to move green to your first because I feel it's the least we. relevant, right? I'm going to move green first because it's the least relevant. Okay. Uh, we're not bothering investigating. Nope, not even a little right? bit. Okay. Not even a little bit. We're not even <laughs> suspecting that that's where he's starting from. No. What if he Did somebody is? even die there? That's that's the question though. This is Nathan. What if that is where he's starting from? Well, see, the question is, let me see. He's got 15 turns. He could get there. He yeah. could get there. That's that's within distance if it's just like a straight line and there's no resistance whatsoever. Maybe maybe green wastes all <laughs> night huffing it over there just to check. What do you guys think? Sure. Red's going to go way over here, though. Green's going in. Okay. I, I wasn't so sure about that, but Evan, uh, Evan <laughs> thought it was a smart idea, so we'll <laughs> roll with it. Um, so Red is going to get to be here around these three locations, even though we're technically not calling out things because we know where he is right now. Okay, we, yeah. Well, we assume we let's, know where he is. Right let's now. make this difficult for him, right? Uh, Please. Yeah. So yellow will be here, right? I'm going to go here. Yeah, I think that's the appropriate dragnet. Yeah. So you're, going back, to where, so you're going back to where red started. Blue mm -hmm. is. Okay. All right. Brown. And are we really are we really sure we want to give up green as a as a as a as a helpful token? I mean, it, 
<laughs> I'm just saying. Is Nathan is Nathan really going to start from way out there? If he does, man, I would just be astounded. Um, I I think that it, we I I think I think because there were so many police uh, face down tokens over here, he might. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. So where are we sticking Brown? Uh, not sure. Not sure. Okay. So we go here, here, or here. That last one would be my personal preference. So, yeah. Pete says, I mean, I'm fine with it. Captain Pete said so. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any relevant searches this turn because we know that he's either at three or th- this this pile of nonsense over here. Okay. He's going to coach. He's going to coach. Oh, yeah. Coaching? I'm totally going to coach. Yeah, he's going <laughs> to coach for sure. Because okay. right. he, can, he can bust through me. He can bust through you. He could not go through Evan. So at this point, he could be down at 28. 26. Which was one space away from his HQ, don't forget. Exactly, which is so like if he if he goes there this turn and we don't arrest there, which we can't possibly do, he's going to win. We we can arrest at 28. We can. Don't we have to don't we have to have a clue there before we can arrest? No. 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 Okay, all right. For some reason I thought somebody said that previously. Okay. So I think he's probably if he's busting through, he's either going to 28 or 1. Because with 1 then he can come back. Oh, okay. I like that we're I, all guessing, and he hasn't even probably made a move yet. <laughs> oh, I made a move. Oh, you did already. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Uh, so let let me go. Uh, I mean, all the searching, all the moving happens, and then all the searching happens, right? In terms of like sequence. Uh, yes. Okay. So we right. each have to move. So yellow's going to go here, right? I think, That'll I think... allow me to search one or twenty six. I think red has to go here. I concur. So, I, Dan, um, do you think that you want to guess and that will give you 26 and then if he's there, I can just go ahead and arrest? Yeah, like if traces of him show up at one randomly, then we know that he's at one this right. turn. Right, right. Yeah, I'm just talking about like the turn order, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah. Yellow will search first, more than likely. Okay. So You're I'm so going to take. Convinced you know where I am. Is green we, still going down the long road to the I'm other direction? Taking blue here. Still going down here. Um. From from yes. Here? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brown. <laughs> I had to think about that, but. Should Brown come this way? Probably. So like right here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, we've moved everybody. So okay. blue moved, yes, yes. Yep. Okay. So this garbage over here. Uh is that garbage? Yeah, that's garbage because he only yeah, he can, coached he once. Yeah, there's I'm no not way within range. There. So uh, have you ever been at 125 or 126, Nathan? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Um, should we get this out of the way? Sure, mm-hmm. go for it. Okay. Have you been at one? No. Have you been at 26? No. Okay. All right, so here's here's my question with red. Yes. Red can't start guessing if we want to choose to try to arrest, correct? That is correct. If you choose to rest, you're guessing one number and that's your whole turn. And you only know whether or not he's actually there this turn, in Correct. which case we win, or he's not, and uh, you've wasted your, your search. Correct. You guys have a feeling as to what I should do with red? Because my initial thought is to try to arrest at 28. That's my go-to, for, too, right, Evan? I, I concur. All right, I arrest at 28 with red. Nowhere near. Okay, fantastic. Okay. So blue's gonna rest at 13. Nope. 
because he couldn't get to any other spot. So, what? I have no idea. Oh, Sorry, any, you, no other you, spot oh, that you could touch. Yeah, yeah. you, you could have gotten to, you could not could have got to 14 or 20 or 32. So, yeah, oh, okay. Gotcha. Makes sense. And then Brown doesn't really need to do anything either. Or were you at 48? No. Okay. 62? No. Okay. okay. 512? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. You get to move again. I'm going to keep making it hard on you guys. He's going to blow another coach or, or alley token, right? Yeah. Blow a coach. Right. So I think how this game has gone was Nathan was like, I'm going to take it easy on them. And then we got real close. And now he's like, I have to make this really hard. <laughs> <laughs> you might not be too far off, but then uh, somebody made a, might've made a mistake. And if you're very convinced about something that may not be true. I'm sorry, Nathan, you only have, uh, you've only made two moves, right? Two coach tokens. Yep. Shouldn't they be here then? The here and here? Uh, no, the first move actually technically was. The oh, the murder. first move was technically the second murder. Gotcha. Correct. All right. Huh. Okay. So we don't have a trail yet. No. Um, I can tell you probably won't find one. I'm, I'm going to suggest something bold. He's out of coaches, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, I think Brown should get in here. Uh-huh. Just, just a thought. That's interesting. So is that because you think I'm in there right now hiding or do you think my hideout's in there? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've moved green because uh, it's the least relevant uh, movement. Hmm. Where was his first coach to? I'm going to feel really bad if you guys were right. I'm going to feel bad if he, he did start way over here. Mm-hmm. Evan, you sure you want to go there with the first coach? The only place he could have possibly moved to was 12, right? 12. I'm thinking he may have gone back upon himself. Okay, you're thinking he still might be at the murder scene again? <laughs> well, I'm thinking he's like right through here. That's that's a possibility, yeah. Um. What are you thinking about Brown? You don't have to take my suggestion. Um, that was just me spitballing it. I'm not sure what I want to do with yellow either. I could just move red back to where red started to get eight, nine, and ten, I guess. But I don't know if that's going to be. I mean, his um, eight or 10 could have been his first coach. Right. So um, you're, you're just finding the trail at that point. Yeah.
Were you gonna go? Ahead, were, you, were you gonna move Brown in inside? Um, Evan, what do you think about that? I, I'm thinking we either put him there or there. One of those two, I think. Well, I can get to there with yellow. Okay. If you want me to do that. So if, I was going to say, if yellow goes there, then I guess I would say red go here and brown here. That's pretty tight. It is, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. Again, this is a, a guy talking who's never played this game before. So do it. Do it. <laughs> Screw it. I'll, I'll just Screw say it. there's a reason why you haven't found any clues. Okay. Uh, we've all moved. Okay. Go ahead and do your searches. Okay. We'll start over here. Um, 128. No. 143. Nope. 144. Nope. Okay. 12. Where's 12? Oh, no. Four. Nope. 11. Nope. Okay. Uh, I'll search with yellow next, right? Uh, 44? Nope. 46? Nope. Uh, red's got whatever number white is hovering over and I can't see. 48. Nope. Okay. What do we got? 45? Nope. 47? Nope. Oh boy. Oh, should I just put you out of the ministry? Okay, so I have to move. Where am I currently? I've forgotten. <laughs> That's how he got away with it. He's not on the board. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, teleportation. I might as well use my alley. What? He's going to use alley now. Uh, no trace of him whatsoever. Not a bit. You know, he could be like over here. Just, just saying. <laughs> Okay. I am at a complete and utter loss. That's usually what happens after Jack uses an alley token, actually. Because <laughs> an alley token, oh man, it's rough. It Just is tell rough. me. You're so far off. <laughs> I mean, okay. we still, we still, I mean, we still think that obviously his hideout is somewhere around here. I mean, is it a legitimate way of playing to just like guard that area? Oh yeah, um, it, it, it is because because if he can't make it back to his hideout by, uh, you know, right, move fifteen, he's lost. And I'm and out of he, he, tokens. He, he can't. Yeah, he's out of special movement tokens and he can't move through our markers, our detective markers. Right. right. Um, so did he just did he just alley his way into this area? It's possible. Like if he was down here somewhere. So with he, two coaches, he could have been here, right? Absolutely. And then he could have just alleyed into here. Yeah. So like yeah. if he if he coached to 30, coached to 65. Did he coach coach then alley? Coach yeah, coach, coach then coach, alley. Yep. Okay. So you, okay, so that wouldn't have worked. Mm. 
well, I could have coached. T- I don't know if you searched twenty six. I could have coached the twenty six, and then we get de- we I, definitely I, searched twenty six. I searched yes. twenty six. Yeah. Okay. But you could also be very far off. Well, yes, it's true. Like I said, he could be over here somewhere, and he's just snowballing this. Yep. <laughs> I just have a hard hard time believing he would have wasted two coaches and an alley to be if nowhere we, near his location. Uh, I have a hard time believing that he would have spent the special move tokens unless we were at least like on the right track. You but, think I ha- well, that's assuming you think that you're right about where you think my hideout is. We have to be somewhere close. We have Do to. Do you? Be. Yes. Based on where you finished the last two nights, yes. You only found half my trail on the first night. Yeah, the the back end of the trail where you were. Yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Mister, so I'm just gonna quit talking folks. to him. Yeah, I'm just gonna quit. Yeah, talking d- to him. don't talk. Don't talk to the traitor. <laughs> um, I feel like we should talk about what we're gonna do with these three pieces. This seems like the most relevant, right? Yeah, I mean, like, if, if if his space, if we think we're right that he's somewhere in this vicinity, does it make sense to have Brown come down here and check 45 and 61? Is that what you guys are thinking? So, I'm thinking that that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out here. Um, he went there. So if he started at three, he could have coached to 30, Mm -hmm. Uh coached to like 49 to 62. Right. And then allied into 61. Uh Uh-huh. Correct. Because I think, because then that would mean that his hideout's 45 or 47. Right. I mean, technically, by going to 80, like if you were just saying 62, Mm -hmm. so 62, he could go to, he could be at, he could alley to 47, 61, or 45, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then the question is, is do we have Brown go down here, have Red go down here, and I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out. Is it possible to get yellow in here as well? The closest I can, the closest yellow can get is where red is now. Basically, okay. gotcha. I think. Oh, no, well, no, no where put, brown is now. Sorry. Yeah, if you put brown here, red here, you can put yellow there, and that covers all three spots. Right. I mean, I mean that is that is a all out. This is exactly what we think is happening, and we could be way off. So we could be. But it would be a way to 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 get all of those three spots with possibility of someone also arresting him on this turn if he's there. Um, and with all, and with all someone, that said, what's Green doing? <laughs> so, can someone zoom in on Nathan? Is he sweating any yet? <laughs> <laughs> he's saying so. Um, so I think I think Green's got to abandon this plan. And uh, he's going to move up here. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, just closer to the action. Yep. Um, I mean, because if, if he did go like the furthest place from, he'd be somewhere in this area. <laughs> okay. Evan, do you have any thoughts? You were the one who was, who was you were in his head that first round. Yeah, well, I've I've fallen to the ground and I flopped around <laughs> like a like a fish out of water. Okay, um, I think it was never in my head. I think um, I think the blue token should continue to search in this area to see where his first or second coach ended up, right? Because we haven't actually found any clues yet. <laughs> right. 
So if we haven't searched 30 yet, for example, um, which, I, which I don't think we have, which I don't think we have, may, maybe that's a good place to check. Go down and check like 30 and 29. I don't know. Because we, we have checked 10 because I was at 8, 9, and 10 that one turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's Blue's move. Now we still have to think about what I mean, are I'm, we I actually am, committed to this plan over here? I'm, I'm totally committed to it, but again, <laughs> I'm, I could be leading us way down the wrong direction. So It's asinine. It's ludicrous. It's <laughs> and it just might work. <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. Go ahead. Well, if you if you guys if you got another if you got a better plan, I, I I I don't have a better idea because you know ludicrous, we don't have any might, ludicrous and asinine might be the best idea. All right, red's gonna go ahead and move in. Okay. So that puts brown over here. All right, I guess I'm cooperating with you guys. Here we are. <laughs> So if my we, understanding is we, correct, you're going to try to make a rest at all three of these locations. We could. We'll cross that bridge in a minute. Right. <laughs> okay. We'll do some searching here first. Uh, let me get rid of the irrelevant searching first, right? Uh, have you been at 69? Nope. 70? Nope. Or 103? Nope. Okay. Have 29? Nope. 30? Nope. Dang it. Hit 50. Two, I think. Oh, yep. No, can't do fifty. Uh, uh, that square doesn't look like you it's can. The, yeah, the square doesn't look like it's in between. It's a little bit hard to tell in the similar the tabletop simulator, but okay. I think you. Well, then fifty. No. Okay. All right. So, uh, this nonsense. Are we arresting? At this point, you might as well arrest all three. Might as yep. well. Might as well. Okay, I will as yellow arrest at forty-five. I'll just tell you none of those places. Okay. okay. So not there right now. Correct. Is that it? That is oh, all got, of our yeah, moves. That's yeah. It. yeah, that's all of our uh, moves. Where am I currently? I'm at that location. Now, this is where we catch him, guys, because he's out of special movement tokens, right? Uh, no, I'm just going to go home. Yep. You're going to go home. Uh -huh. So safe and sound. I'm just happy. So, the um, 45 and 47 are out. Yeah, no, all three of those, like, this entire back alley is out because we just searched that entire back alley. Uh, since, since it was with close to 28 round one, I know it could still be 29 could it be 29 so clarification I mean, double back on himself maybe rule clarification so for you to go home do you have to be next to the home and then go in or do you have to be on it then you go in his last be next to his, it. his last movement has to be to home yep and it has to be a normal movement yep hmm well, yeah, that, that first night, so many great things happened for you guys, but so many really bad things happened as well. But I'm going to go back and say, Nathan, we don't like you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a good, it's a good call. And I, I'll go back and say, Evan, I like you now. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I could accommodate. So we're going into night four, the last night. Yeah. So, oh, wow. Uh, so there's only a couple locations that you can tag. So there's uh, here. Right. Here. Uh-huh. Actually, I'll leave it up to you. Do you want me to put you out of your misery or do you want to have a chance? Oh, well, put us out of our misery, please. <laughs> okay. Wait, make sure that I got the. Okay. Okay. 
So determine where you want your detectives to be. Um. So are we back to Dan since we went yeah, around, do you want around me the to horn? Do this again? Yeah. yeah, I say mm-hmm. go ahead since we ran, went around the horn on it. Okay, I'll put these but, into my heli hole spot. And we can blame you if this goes awry. Um, As absolutely. was the plan from the beginning. Absolutely. That, it's that wasn't the plan, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Is this where we find out Dan was the traitor too? Yes. <laughs> possibly, possibly. Evan was really good first night finding a lot of locations, but Peter was really kind of starting to get on where I went. And then there was a mistake and it was kind of, you kind of lost it. Got really convinced about something that wasn't true. Okay. Well, I'll be very interested to finally get to watch this back later. <laughs> <laughs> right. And see just where it went wrong. You would be surprised. You will be surprised, actually, very soon. I'll pretend I didn't see that was fake, but how, how do you know that was fake? Because you accidentally flipped it when you put it on top of the other guy. But that's all right. Um, this has to replace this guy. Well, it doesn't have to replace that guy. One of my other ones too. And I've got two more to place, right? Somehow, even when I'm in no danger at all, it's still stressful. Uh, let me take a look at the board here. Has to be on yellow squares. Yeah, there's like no yellow squares up there, so. All right, how does that look to you folks? Looks as good as anything else. Okie dokie. So uh, you place the wretched. (laughs) That's the murder. Okay. Okay, and. uh... Yeah, you're going to kill right away. I'm going to kill right away. Okay, I figure as much since there's only one. And that dies. So I am currently at 21. And I am totally going to put you guys out of your misery very quickly. So I move first. Uh just make sure. Yeah, there's no way you can get to me. Okay, I've made my move. All right. Okie dokie. Um, he just made a normal move. Okay, all right. So I've moved red. Um. I'll move yellow this way. I'll move green through here. You got blue and brown done. All right, they're all moved, and there's no point in guessing, apparently. So, Nathan? Uh, Now for the big surprise. I'm at my hideout. Okay. My hideout was right here. Wow. So you were really good. You found the first half of my trail, but then you decided that was the second half of my trail. Oh, no. So what I had done is, obviously, I started by kill over here. Yeah. Uh I went down here. Yeah. Then Peter searched 139, so I decided to go to 139 and have you move through me. And then I went up here. Then I coached to here. Then I went here, here, alleyed, coached all the way over to here, coached all the way to here. Uh, at some point, I did an alley over here too. But oh my uh, gosh! <laughs> so we were we were like so sure you were over here, and you were way over here, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like so. So that last so in the third night when you murdered, this was where you started. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh-huh. Green was on the right trail. 
uh-huh. the other set was. Uh, but yeah, it's like you got so fixed on the yeah. night one that it's like that was like it for you guys. Oh man. Well, I definitely want to play this one again. So even though you got like trounced, I mean, yeah, yeah, you, no. you still enjoyed it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, um, I'll admit you definitely duped me. I thought for sure that this was. Yeah, me too. This area was where you were at near the end of the first round. Yeah, Evan doesn't seem so pleased. I don't like you, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's I, fine. I enjoyed, I enjoyed that. That was, that was a lot of fun. Okay, good. That's the important thing. As long as you enjoy the game, you don't have to like me. Yeah, no, because it definitely it definitely feels it still feels doable. It's just um, you have to be careful with your assumptions. You I do. Think. You really have to. You can't just yeah. Yeah, you gotta still like use. It's good to like you know narrow it down, but you still kind of gotta get feelers with the other. So yeah. it's really important to find trails and well, and I'll be I'll, I'll, I'll be totally much. I'll be totally honest. I. I forgot there was a fourth night. I thought oh, okay. we, I thought there were only three nights because all of a sudden, it, all of a sudden, it was like, oh, I'm, he's murdering two people this time. And I was like, oh shoot, this is the last round. Uh, so I, I forgot that there was a fourth night that was going to come up, but I don't know that that would have changed much about where I placed the detectives on that on for that third day. So because I, I was I was fully I was fully sure you were up here, but but yeah, that's one of the things I do like to do that really throws people in super high risk is just like stand next to detectives. Right. And yes, I do sometimes do what Evan suggested and go right back to the crime scene. I didn't do it. Did this you do time. that this game? Did you? Did not at all. I did not do any backtracking at all. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. All right, well, uh, that was, was Nathan trouncing us. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>